What's up, my dudes? What's up, brothers? Hey, brothers. Hey, brothers. Dudes, what are you doing? Are you my brother? I am. Good. It, What's it, up? I am. Well, I'm, I'm here. Good. Great. So we finished the Dark Palace. Also, Beard Bros. I'm Gerard. I'm Alex. Yeah, good. <laughs> we <laughs> we finished the Dark Palace last time. Now we're going to do a little bit more collecting, and then we're going to uh, move on to the Swamp Palace. Yeah, no, I said I wanted to skip around a bit, because you technically can, but I think for the sake of, of, of the order in this... We're just gonna go in order of the dungeons, as much as I love skipping around. Um, but well, you guys will see. You'll see how it is. It'll be a, it'll be a good time. Yeah, it'll be a good good time. Uh, so first off, we're gonna head towards some heart pieces. You need a little little side questing, a little heart piecing, little piecing, little heart questing. throbbing piecing, heart throb like JB y'all. What was that? I don't know. What I know. Did you I, I, what did you say? I said JB. J. Beeb. Oh, I see. Like, uh... I just... Sorry, I, I recently just watched, uh... I actually am doing a Versus right now, currently, with Josh Jepsen. It came out a few days ago. Um, or also, yesterday, actually. also on Leak to the Past. Yeah, so... It's funny, because we recorded that a, uh, a few months ago. So, um... Or, like, kind of like, we did, like, half and half. So, like, we still have to do the other half of it. Um... I love but, the idea of heart pieces. Because they're so, like... They're so like video gamey. Do you know what I mean? They're you mean, such like, a like, collecting wise. Yeah, they're just like such a power up. But they're in like the most modern Zeldas. Like yeah, even like Skyward Sword has heart pieces. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that the one that comes out on Wii U that hopefully gets announced. I heard a rumor that uh, it's going to be called Zelda Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare. Shard of Nightmare? Yeah, it sounds very Japanese. Doesn't sound like a super, like, westernized Shard, name. Shard of Nightmare sounds so dangerous. It sounds, like, very dark and scary. I, it's cool, but I, I don't know. It's the same press release that said that they're gonna announce Symphony of the Night 2 for 3DS, so we'll, that would we'll, be take, it, we'll take it with a grain of salt. But that would if be, they do that, we are so Let's Play Yeah, that. that would be so tight. It's, like, one of my favorite games Guys, ever, ever, so ever. so tight. Okay, so right now we're gonna be doing, uh, a little, um, uh, Farming to upgrade our bombs and arrows, which yeah. shouldn't take too long because I did this before um, And it should only take a few moments not so, too bad. So have you heard of the Legend of Zelda zone in uh, Sonic the Lost World. Yes, I have came out like a couple weeks ago or months like a month or two a month ago, or two ago. Uh, For the Wii U version of Sonic and the Lost World. Mm-hmm or Sonic Lost World, or yeah. the hell it's called, and it's like a Zelda-themed zone. He dresses like Link, and he like runs through Hyrule Field, Hyrule Field and stuff. There's Gossip Stones. There's Cuckoos that like fight you and stuff. There's even a Loft Wing, like from Skyward Sword. Oh, that's rad. Yeah, and uh, he can get a, uh, a heart piece in it, and there's like a bunch of Zelda music in it. it. Looks really cool. I don't know, but yeah, I was I was just thinking about heart pieces, and you can you can get a heart container, like a full one, like from when you beat a boss. Mm -hmm. You can get one there. That's really funny. Yeah. What's the purpose of it, though? It's just an aesthetic item? Just there uh, for looks? Doesn't actually do anything? I don't really know. It says you can get them by opening treasure chests, and they increase his life by one. Sonic's life? Yeah. I guess it's like... For the edge, he, he like suddenly has no need. He like rings don't matter in this moment. Yeah. And have you seen the uh, Super Smash Bros? Uh, that... Okay, that what Zelda is that from? I think that's from. If it's from any oh. Zelda, it's got to be from Skyward Sword, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm, I want to say uh, Link Between Worlds. Maybe they look like that. I don't think so. I don't know. What's the? Maybe we can find a picture of it and show you guys. It's uh, like the shielded heart, where it looks like it's got a bunch of intricate designs in it. It might just be from the new Zelda. It's the it's the way that the heart piece looks or the heart container looks in. Uh, it's in the new Smash Bros. Yeah, we'll show a picture of it. It's definitely... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's its a tough gig. It's cool. It looks very intricate. Do They're trying to, like, do. make it transition from being, like, a... You know, like, a power-up item to, like... Like a magical relic. Gotcha. It'd be cool if they had them, like, if you, like, pre-order the game, you get a heart piece. What? 
Like, if you pre-order the game, you get, like, a plush heart piece. Okay, okay. Be cool. I thought you were pulling a, like, DLC thing oh, of, no, no. like... You pay five bucks now or ten bucks later and you can get a heart piece from the start. It's like that, no. Yeah, Nintendo's going to hire, like, a 90s monster truck rally announcer. <laughs> well, that's what the guy from... That's my impression of the guy from GameStop. Power to the players. I would love it if the giveaway was a plush heart piece or heart container. Mm -hmm. And when you, like, push on it, it goes... That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It would get annoying. It That's would. real. Just throw the heart and it just makes that noise. Yeah. How many? How much more of this do you have to throw in? Not much. This is the last run. There goes 50 in there. And that gives us... Uh, now, we're, now we're capped. So we have the maximum bombs 50, 50. and arrows in the games. And this, uh, ooh, this area becomes... No longer important. I think we're rocking how many of these? Okay, we got three. So let's get them real quick. We have a lot of side questing this guy, this game, guys. We might. This might be one of the episodes where this we is just, like one of those like side quests. Yeah, we zones. might just like pull the plug early and just film. Then tomorrow's episodes will be Swamp Temple. Uh, Swamp Temple because there's a lot to get uh, this time around. That's fine. It's cool. See more of the game. See more of the world. Check it out. Chat yeah, about so it. as a reminder, guys, I'm not even supposed to be at this point yet. Uh, we skipped the, uh, the the dungeon. The 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 one. Yeah, that we you've... skipped Hyrule Castle by like glitching through the bridge. So it's yeah. kind of neat. Oh, that hit. I was <laughs> like, that was like fate. That was a fate hit. Fate. Fate hit. Do you remember Fun that? Fact. Do you remember that game? That song? That game? No, that song from uh, the two. <laughs> uh, Return of the King. I think it's Return of the King, where like. Pippin or Mary is like singing while that king is eating those like gross ass <laughs> tomatoes. No, and I those don't guys are like that. riding into battle and dying, and he's like singing. It's really weird. Um, fun fact: Alex and I first hung out when we saw the movie Brave together. Yeah, yeah, we uh, did not know each other, but we were both mildly interested enough in Brave to go see it early at the LA Film Fest. Uh, with uh, our pal Mikey and Zan. Zan was there too. Oh yeah, I remember Zan was there. Mm -hmm. One other person. No, it was just the three of us. Oh really? Or four of us. Yeah. Oh well. I think we. I think we met someone there, but I don't think they were with our group afterwards. We went to like a taco truck. That was pretty good. Yeah, I remember it all. Uh, Barry didn't like the movie too much. No, I didn't care for it either. It I didn't think that like movie a, it didn't feel like a Pixar movie. I think that movie is very brave. I see what you did there. I mean, that was a pun, but like, no, I, no, no, I, no. Think I, I, I see what you did there. Yeah, I, 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 I actually think it is pretty good. I think it's like a really neat movie that like defies the conventions of a fairy tale. I think Frozen does a fairly good job of doing it too, but it's a little bit more sterile. It's not like very realistic. I like that Frozen's not about uh, relation. It's not about like the prince. It's about the relationship of sisterhood. Yeah. And their traveling pants, for that matter. This. That's incorrect. Yeah. Oh, no, very correct. Anyways, enough Disney talk. Alex, what can we know about the Dark World? Is there any fun the facts dark you got? The Dark World. Uh, well, I mean, there's plenty of, like, different, uh, v you know, things to say about what the Dark World is exactly. Mm -hmm. And typically, it's a it's a parallel dimension to Hyrule. So it's like, it's like an alternate Hyrule, and it always has kind of like a different uh, sort of reason. Mm -hmm. So when uh, in Ocarina of Time, when Ganondorf gets into the like sacred realm, and he gets the Triforce, uh, he turns Hyrule into the Dark World, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you when you're in a, when you're adult Link, you're in like Dark World because everything is like all screwed up, and like there's like flames on the horizon and like. Hy Hyrule Castle is like populated by like ghosts and zombies and stuff. I just want to, before we go on, Alex, I just want to talk about what we're doing right now. We're getting the Ocarina flute. This is the first appearance ever in Zelda's history that the Ocarina shows up the way that it does. And uh, the flute boy is uh, playing his uh, song. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of funny because in the Dark World, we kind of see him. And he's like, I used to love playing the flute until I died. Um, so he, uh, he gave us a shovel. And asks to find the ocarina for him. So it's usually around here somewhere. Oh, sorry. Oh. 
Ignore the weaver. Oh, there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, it's a flute. Its music surely has some mysterious power. Ugh. And now he disappears into Overdrive Ostrich runs away into the forest. And now we go back to the world. This is where it gets creepy and weird, and I'm sure there's some creepy pasta on this. But now we go back to this gentleman right here. Thank you, Beard, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If you go by chance uh, to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my man my mind's getting hazy. Let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. <laughs> we play it for him. And without any explanation whatsoever, this happens. I think he's just dying, obviously. He kind of alluded to that, but then it's just... And now he's a tree. Later, man. <laughs> he's a tree. Now he's a tree later, man. I am a tree later, man. Okay, so wait. So, so... Ganondorf loses. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is where... This is the one where Ganondorf loses. This is the timeline, because in Ocarina of Time, because they do time travel, like dummies, it splits the world into, like, three different worlds, right? Mm -hmm. So, in the one where Ganondorf loses, uh... And oh, before you go on again, Alex, th this is gonna be a boring one. Uh, this is the mission to get the secret heart piece. This is gonna take a while. 30 seconds to 80 rupees. We gotta randomly find. This is a needle and haystack mission. I hate this. Yeah, this is the worst. Here we go. Here comes so. the rest of the episode right here. I'll tell I'll tell the story yeah, while, go while for this is happening. So not so there's there's the one where Ganondorf loses, there's the one where Ganondorf wins, and there's the one where he never like you like the feud like it starts as with Link as a kid, like the Majora's Mask one. Yeah. So so the one where the one where Ganondorf wins and gets all the Triforce pieces and uh, gets sealed away inside the Sacred Realm. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's fine for a little bit, and then uh, the Dark World like starts to like leak in, and uh, like it's really weird, like because people are like looking for it, thinking it's like this awesome place, but it's really just this like screwed up place, and so the sages like start to. Like, you know, the, the, the sages start to try and seal the Dark World off for good, mm -hmm. but, like, a bunch of monsters, like, come and, like, try and fight the sages, so it's, like, this, like, war between the worlds, right? And then, uh, eventually, it, like, closes it up, and that's called the Imprisoning War. And then, uh, Aghanim, uh... Agrabah. Yeah, Aghanim, like, sends all these, the women to the Dark World, mm -hmm. and, uh, so that's what happens in this game, yada yada yada, and so there's just all these different, this, the story of the Dark World plays out here, uh, but there's also, like, the, you know, Link Between Worlds Dark World, and there's, and it's, like, kind of the same Dark World, mm -hmm. it's weird, it's in, it's in a lot of things, uh, Twilight Princess has the, like, weird Dark World with Xant, which is the Twilight Realm, it's like not quite the dark world, but it like kind of is the Twilight Realm because it kind of like crosses, like it like crosses Hyrule, and the Twilight Realm is not the dark world, but like Ganondorf's trying to screw up both of them. It's like really confusing. Like I don't think they ever should have tried to to uh, mix Zelda, like like tie it all together. I think it like they should have done it from the beginning or not at all. Yeah. Kind of confuses everything. That's well, today's I, I question think, of the I day, I think. I think it's one of those things where they they wanted to retcon a bit, but yeah. they also like wanted to support their guns within the retconning, you know? Yeah, but I think I I, I think that's going to be the question of the day today. Is like do you prefer to think of the Zeldas as like almost like uh when they like get a new James Bond? You know what I mean? And it's like kind of tied together, but not not really. Like with Skyfall, even there was like kind of a reboot. Yeah, and kind of. With Casino Royale, there was a reboot. They just like, I like the idea of it just being like whatever. Or like when Doctor Who. Well, actually, like in the more recent Doctor Who seasons, like the like, you know, the Russell T Davies and stuff. It's like a little bit more story based. But like back in the day, it was like kind of just like free form. Like oh, whatever, Doctor Who. Is a new doctor now, whatever, whatever. Alex, will you see just in the in the little thing where I have right here if there's a particular strategy we should be doing? Because I feel like... I know this is just luck-based, but maybe there's a strategy somewhere in this. I, I really don't think there is one. It's just completely random. 
Yeah, I okay. I feel like someone at home right now is probably screaming at me to be like, dig up there! I you mean, know what I mean? I just want to make sure that I'm not... I mean, I know I'm wasting everyone's time, but I might as well waste it. It just literally just says keep digging till you win. Alright, well, you heard it here first, folks. I mean, how many, like, tedious things have we gotten through by telling story time? It's fine. Oh, uh, that's true. It's just like... I like stories. Yeah. I, like, I like you, Alex. You're a good, you're a good guy. <laughs> Thanks, man. I like you, too. Yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, I mean, who knows? Who knows, like, who knows, like, what the deal is? But the question of the day is, do you think they should have le left the Zelda storyline separate, like Final Fantasy? Or should they have... Tried to integrate all of them like, together? Yeah, like the Hyrule Historia. Which, um, like, you know, the Hyrule Historia just kind of, like, ignores weird things. Yeah. I, like, I don't, I don't know... They don't really try to explain every last thing, and when they do, it just starts getting, like, really confusing. Yeah. I don't know, in my eyes, I think that they should have kept them all separate. I'm- I'm- I wish that there was- I wish that- What I think is that maybe they should have just, like, decided, like, okay, starting with, like, Skyward Sword, which is a good starting point, because it's, like, the earliest one. Now it's gonna be, like, reboot, like, all Central. of them are- all of them are gonna, like, connect from now on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Or maybe with Wind Waker, where they started, like, directly referring to Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Like, they could have just been like, okay, from now on, it's gonna make sense, and then they could have just let bygones be bygones. But instead, everything connects, and it's, like, a little bit annoying. Yeah. And it's still, like, a cool story, it's just, like, w like a little bit of a stretch sometimes. Well, I think that's the case with most games, like, like this. Well, yeah, but, like, some games have been going for years, aka Metal Gear, you know? And it's, like, the same story the whole time, and it makes perfect sense, because Every time they make a sequel, they're like, okay, what happens next? Or what happened a little bit earlier in the in the past, like, you know, Metal Gear Solid 3 or whatever. And, and it works, and it's great, and it's like a good, complete story that you tell. And after, like, you know, however many years, you know, you start with Metal Gear, which has Solid Snake in it, and you get to Metal Gear Solid 4 in 2008, you know, 20 years later or whatever, and you get a complete story arc out of all that. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you get, like, all these cool extra characters, like, Big Boss really got fleshed out over the years, and now he's, like, starting to, like, overtake Solid Snake as, like, the main character, which is cool, because I really like Metal Gear Solid 3 the most. You know? Mm -hmm. I have really high hopes for, uh, Phantom Pain. Ground Zeroes was really, really great. Really, really amazing game. I liked it, too. I, I think that every, uh, did We're you get not. to like sit and play through it yet? No, I, you and I did it together. Yeah, but we didn't. You didn't like just like sit by yourself and like play through it a few times, right? No. Yeah, you gotta, I, 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 it's kind of hard to from because I still haven't done the other Metal Gears in my own personal life. So I just literally watched you just to see like what it's about. the impressiveness of what you did. It was so cool. It looks so good. I'm so sorry, everyone at home. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Like, remember when we sat in. <laughs> The casino. That's true. And just did story time for I like- forgo I forgot about the casino. Yeah, that was long. It was very long. I'm just trying to find a better, like, flow of this, you know? It, should I just keep doing the same pattern and eventually I'll get it? Should I mix it up? If it's totally random, it's totally random. This is, like, not something that is supposed to be, like, a spectator- like, thing, so, you know, we're just gonna, like, give you the true experience of playing this part of the game. It's true. This is fine, I think, for a game where it's about exploring, but it's just kinda like, jeez. What's funny is that, in the past, uh, if you try to, like, instead of, like, going to save the, the, the guy, you take the shovel, you, like, it doesn't work that way. Like, you know, take the shovel and keep going. Yeah. I've tried it before, it doesn't work that way. They thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Because then you could just keep digging past when the game is over, but I guess the heart piece is only activated when, uh, when it's your time. Pl yeah. For some reason, I just got like a huge craving for Johnny Rockets. Is that weird? <sighs> Very weird, dude. I don't know I don't why. Know. I have a negative stigma against Johnny Rockets, so. Why? Uh, I used to date a girl who's obsessed with it, and I had to like take her there all the time, and it was not a good time. And she was obsessed with Johnny Rockets. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt Maloney, your buddy from the Bath Boys, used to work at that one that we went to. Oh yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, he used to make balloon animals. <laughs> if you guys watch the Bath Boys, <laughs> Kurt Maloney used to make balloon animals at Johnny Rockets. Is that why that sketch is like all his balloons? Uh, I think so, probably. <laughs> 
We should get him on Drunk Bros. That'd be a cool. Yeah, who do you guys want to see on Drunk Bros? I know a lot of you guys were like a little like, oh, we don't want to drink. It's like you don't have to drink. You don't have to do that. I don't. I I actually am not a drinker, and I don't condone it very much. It's it's for the show. It's not like we're like, let's become alcoholics slowly. We're like, let's drink because it's fun. It's like the the whole thing is like it's self torture. It's yeah. It's funny it's, because it's funny because we don't want to drink, but we have to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that you guys largely enjoyed it. You guys can head over to the forums and there's, you know, there's threads on everything. It's cool that there's question of the... I think that you guys should start doing question of the week threads and, like, getting the forum and the wiki mixed together. The, f the wiki is still great. Thank you to those of you guys out there who are keeping it alive I wanna, and well. I want, I want them to reach out to me. Please. Contact me. The, wiki, the main wiki contributors? I think it's the same guys who are on the Reddit page. Because we ha I have a completionist Reddit that is like kind of circumferencing everything. Um, I still don't quite get Reddit, but at least I feel like on Reddit and in the forums we can be a little more personable with everyone. Because you know what I did that was really like cool that I stole from uh, Super Bunny Hop mm. is that I made a AMA like thread that's like sticky in the Dex forums. Oh, cool! And pretty much just anyone can ask a question anytime, and then I'll just go in there sometimes and look, and I'll just answer like. 15 or 20 questions, you know, all of oh, a sudden. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh my god. How many, how many minutes are we rocking right now, Alex? We're rocking 22 so, minutes. Somewhere around 22? Yeah, we're rocking 22 minutes, just about. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think the worst thing like this is? This? Um, this is pretty horrible. There's for... one just like it in, uh... Link Between Worlds. Uh, not quite as well, bad it's like as the this. Chest, the it's chest, like, but the chest. There's a chess game in this in this one as well, which we have to do is right after this. Um, I might do it off camera depending on how you, how we feel after this. After is taking this. a real long time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe Alex, what we do for this episode is do like a speed montage. You know for what the I mean? Chest. Well, I don't know. I feel like we got some valuable information out. I think we could just, you know, leave it and. You know, it's for the fans. It's like the weekend, you know? Relax, find out some stuff, chill out. It's our hangout sesh, Yeah, you know? It's our chill time. It's our chill time. Churl. And, you know, if you're bored, you can just go watch Mother. <laughs> or you can just... I wish, I wish like, we could do a better way about... Like, I wish we could stream and record these. That'd be, like, really fun, because then we can, like, actually... We could, but it would be, like, it ugly. Would, a desyncing situation, yeah. and it would it'd be pretty bad. I'd agree. I think it'd be fun to do maybe like we did it once or twice in in the uh, for you know when we first started doing this stuff. Maybe for mother like I think we'll get through link to the past pretty quickly, but maybe for mother what we'll do is we'll do like a <laughs> we'll get through except for episodes like this. <laughs> well, well, right, but I mean we are already like halfway through the game. I, I'm saying like for for mother like maybe to like make some headway we'll do like a weekend where we like actually just stream mother for two days. You know, for like six hours each day. Yeah. And just like upload that. Yeah, well, we're going to have to do. I'm going to go on. So, spoiler alert, I'm going on vacation, um, which I've never done before. I've <laughs> never like gone on a vacation where I've been like, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to have to film a bunch of these things in a, in a nice well, rapid I'm succession. Is, it, rather than that, like, I'm saying, like, maybe one weekend, instead of just posting, like, two 20-minute episodes of Mother, we'll do, like, a live stream and then post the live stream so that, like, we can make some headway and, like, get through the game faster. Like, so that, oh, that's cool. So that we can, like, get on to more games. Because I know people are complaining that we're, like, doing quick episodes, but I don't think a Let's Play should be super long. I think it should be, like, a digestible thing. I, I agree so too, because um, like after a while, when when you're playing a game and it's just going on for a long time, you start to like just do what you do in real life and just like zone into the game and and yeah, and, and viewership tends to drop off too. Yeah, uh, so, um, so, meaning that you guys as a collective get bored. Yeah, so I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to like roast those people who are saying that we should play longer. I agree that we should get through the game quick, but I'm just trying to come up with a strategy that doesn't require us to make like marathon episodes because it's really inconvenient to like edit those as well. Yeah, and the file sizes get really big like too. Like Wild Arms, jeez. The, the we last had, we episode, had over 125 gigs of Wild Arms data altogether. The two-hour movie of Wild Arms at the end was like a nightmare to edit. Yeah, our computers were not running very well. I edited it on this computer, but it was just like nonsense. I, 
I always mess it up. All right, we're, let's do this like three more times, and if we don't do it, we'll just get it off camera. Cool. And then we'll we'll do a next time on 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 the show. Yeah, and we'll yeah. just have it when we come back. Yeah, we'll have it, and uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll should I do some other things as well off camera? I don't, we have a lot to do. No, let's just go through the just, stuff. Like, okay, it's fine. Like we're gonna get through this game in like a few more weeks. It's true. In real, like realistic, especially because we're doing four episodes, you know, or two episodes a week. Yeah, uh, it should go pretty quickly. It goes quick. Like yeah, we make pretty big progress. We're just like. We want to collect everything, so... Yeah, I, I usually I won't... I mean, yeah. I think for for games we don't know, or for games I know well that I really am passionate about, I would love to complete them. Yeah. Um, plus, it's great practice just for... Speed you know, running. Speed running and, and whatnot. I used to want to speed run this game, but... Uh, it requires, like, a lot of work. <sighs> yeah, I can... I've seen P. Cole done it a lot. Okay, so I, that's one That's one down. So we got two yeah. left. Are you sure there's no... There's literally- it just says, like, keep digging. Hopefully you get lucky. Alright. Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. God, the music is, like, almost worth it. <laughs> almost worth it. I gotta stop going after the gems and just dig. I miss- I miss the element of game music where the hardware, like, limits what it can sound like, you know? Yeah. Like, orchestra score and stuff like that, like, for the newer Zelda, Smash Bros, Pokemon, all that stuff, it's, like, really awesome, but, like, it's unmistakable when a, when a, when a song is coming over a Super Nintendo speaker. You know what I mean? Or, like, yeah. or like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, those, like, Game Boy Advanced horns, it's, like, so obvious. So that's two, so this is our last try. And then I gotta do it off camera. Let's yeah. let's hope this is it. You know what I mean, though. Yeah. Like it's so different. Like it's so awesome that like you know, Jerry Goldsmith or something is gonna like do a game soundtrack or something like that, with like you know, the Boston Pops or something like that. But it's not quite the same. It doesn't have the same allure for me. It doesn't yeah. feel like game music anymore. It just feels like nice, like movie soundtrack. Something like that. Well, game, games are becoming a cinematic thing now, you know? I mean, they always have been cinematic, I think. Well, at least for 30 years or so. But, like, you know, it's just technology. But, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just, I like this. I prefer this. I'm never going to, like, listen to the Call of Duty soundtrack. All right, guys. Well, I think you've all had enough of my failing attempts at, uh, Getting this. Yeah, so we'll just do it. We'll tackle it off camera. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow with another episode of A Link to the Past. The later man. Later man. Later man. Later man.